life growing up wasn't that easy for me. I always wanted to go to school, always. My stepmom come with this idea that she's gonna start doing business and then stop us going to school. She did so many bad things to us. I call it slavery. I was only five. After doing all the things at the house, then I, I have to carry this big bucket on my head and then go to the market and then sell it. If I don't bring good money after shelling things, I'll get beat up. When our dad found out what was happening, he said, you can't treat my kids like this and they get divorced. Three months later, we have people come over, your dad was looking for you. This is when we find out that my dad has a job and then staying at the mission. A Sunday, I don't remember exactly the date, we came back to my dad. What he said was true. He found a job at the Mission of Hope. And my dad said, they offer school. We're so happy. I was jumping around. Yes, I'm going to school. <laughs> Life start changing when I start going to school. Now it's time I'm learning a lot of things and, and I'm asking a lot of questions. At the age of 12, I didn't know how to read or spell my name or write it down. It's like heaven fall down on my back. I'm like, oh, I'm, I'm doing it. This is good. And I was so happy. I, I scream at the mission. I run from the school to my dad place. And I'm like, I did it. I did it in my homework. I did it myself. The teacher said, good job. And I got a 10. Oh, blessed be that day. <laughs> Through Middle Mission, I have an education, I finish high school. And also through the Mission of Hope, a sponsor pays for my college. Isn't that a miracle? I never thought I'd get to go to college, finish school, and now married, have a house, a job. For one child to go to school in Haiti can transform their life, their family, their village and bring a change to everybody around them. It did for me.